If any of you guys have a ring light at home, like, let me know. Does it just kind of blind you? Hi, guys. This video is going to be my Reading Rush vlog. Ideally, in a perfect society, I would have enough time to film one every day and show you guys my progress. I'm going on a trip on Thursday. That's day four of Reading Rush. And I'm going on like a 15 hour road trip. So it's not really possible for me to actually film a vlog for you guys every day. I decided to really put myself to the limit, which now I'm kind of seeing that it's going to be harder to achieve than I thought. I wanted to read seven books for the seven challenges of the reading rush, and so far I just finished my first book. It is currently day two, so I didn't even film anything day one. That's how busy I was, but I'm excited because the first book that I read for reading rush is Me Before You, but I just finished it today, and can I just say, it brought the waterworks. I have a lot of mixed feelings about this book. I cried a lot. <laughs> yeah, sorry I didn't get to film my progress. I mostly read in between breaks and stuff during work. So hopefully tomorrow though, I have a lot of packing to do. I have to go pick up hiking shoes because I don't have any of those. And just kind of get all my stuff together and packed up. So I'm definitely gonna try to read as much as I can, but I wanna try to get some reading done tonight if possible. But I'm already in my second book. I don't know why I haven't read graphic novels more or manga because it combines my love of pictures and writing. I'm always talking about how adult books should have pictures in them and that's pretty much what graphic novels are. I'm flying through it really fast because it's really cute. But it's Heartstopper by Alice Osman and I felt like this was a great transitional book. I also kind of needed something a little bit more fluffy and like lighthearted. And so far I am. I think it's really cute. So I'm going to do my best and do the booktuber thing and properly vlog. However, I don't really know how well that's gonna go. I high key stubbed my toe on the foot of the bed and it hurts so much and I'm in so much pain, but it's fine. I'm just gonna, you know, read through the pain. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy my video. Nick reminds me of in this book. Nick reminds me of Kristoff from Frozen, like his drawing. Am I the only one? p.m. and it's still day two of reading rush and I just devoured this in like two hours really like a solid hour of reading but yes I have finished heartstopper and it's really good and now I just want to go and buy the rest so I'm looking forward to getting the next book in the series this is just so cute and I understand why everyone loves it so I'm very happy about that Woo! Day two and I finished two books. Not too shabby. Um, tomorrow is going to be kind of hard because it's like my packing day. So I'm going to try and read a middle grade novel, which was one of the books on my Reading Rush TBR anyways. It's The Tale of Despero. So I feel like that will be like a nice smooth read to get me through Wednesday. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow because I'm probably not going to read anymore today. Hi guys, good morning. So it is now Wednesday morning, day three of Reading Rush. And honestly, I'm feeling kind of proud of myself because I finished two books in a day. I have a lot of errands to do both outside and inside. A lot of preparations because I'm going to be gone for 12 days. 
which is crazy because I'm actually taking off work for this trip and it's the first PTO that I've taken in a really, really long time. Today I'm going to be trying to read The Tale of Despero by Kate DiCamillo about a mouse named Despero that really loves music and there's a princess involved and a rat involved, but I read it as a kid and I really loved it. So I'm really excited to give it a read again and hopefully I can finish it today. I don't really know how to vlog yet, but I'm gonna just kind of try and show you guys what I'm doing. made myself about halfway through the book and we're getting ready to run errands in 30 minutes. I'm thinking that I have a decent shot at finishing this book today which is great considering the fact that I have like 20 things to do on my to-do list today if not more. So I'll try to keep you guys posted with all my adventures but I hardly think that it would be interesting to watch me do my laundry. So you know I'll just kind of see what I'm able to come up with. <music> It is 2.09 p.m. We've gone out and done some errands and I just purchased some hiking shoes and let me tell you I do not like shopping for athletic wear but it's fine because I found some really great shoes on sale. Currently we're actually waiting in line at In-N-Out because my boyfriend is hungry so we're gonna get some of that. I've actually brought my book along for our errands and I've been reading it every time we stop. I actually only have about 15 to 20 pages left until I'm done with the book so woo, like book three of Reading Rush completed. Hi guys, so it's five o'clock and I actually finished The Tale of Despero and I actually already started on my fourth book of the reading rush, which is The Henna Wars. So good progress for me. I think I'm on page 30 now. But I took a shower and I have a lot of packing to do because I haven't traveled really anywhere in a long time. And I feel like I'm moving somewhere even though I know I'm not. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So currently it's day four of reading rush. I don't really know how much reading I'm going to be able to get done today. But I'm really much gonna be in the car all day. So. I'm sorry if the sound is going to be pretty awful here because I don't have a microphone. Yeah, I'm like pretty positive the audio is not even going to be good, but 
I am still reading my book four, and actually I realized that I didn't even remember the seven books that I had to read for the reading rush. I don't even know if the seven books that I thought I was reading for the reading rush fit all the prompts, but I'm just gonna read them and see how it goes. Today is a chill day. I'm gonna give you guys a room slash cabin tour and hopefully I'll get this done. I'm about halfway, like a third of the way through, so I'm gonna try to read this and then get to the next book. So I just finished reading The Henna Wars and it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I would rate it a five star rating and yeah, it was just really, really good and I want to talk about it a lot more later. So stay tuned for my July wrap up because I have a lot of thoughts and a lot of feelings about the book in the best way possible, but it was kind of the book that I didn't know that I needed to read and it was definitely more of a cover buy when I originally bought it, but at this point, I think that the content matches. I'm not sure what the next book I'm going to read is, but I'm doing a buddy read with everyone in the cabin, so we'll see. Yes, and on to the next. <laughs> to bed soon but just wanted to say that I'm on page 50 of Untamed and it's really great and I definitely want to read tomorrow a lot because I read a lot today. Bye! Good morning! I thought to get a head start on House of Salt and Sorrows today because it, I just really was drawn to it and we're kind of pacing ourselves with the book club books so Anywho, I'm going to be doing some of this reading today and some of Untamed reading today, but I don't think I'm going to finish all the books, and that's okay. I'm pretty proud of myself because at this point I've read, I think, four books for Reading Rush. It's a wonderful day, and I'm going to take it easy today. I just made some Campbell's chicken noodle soup, and I'm going to eat that and read my book. <laughs> But anyways, we're heading out now, and we're just going to walk to a nearby Poke Stop. And if you guys are wondering my obsession with Pokemon Go, it's 100% because I just discovered it. When it became a huge thing, I was in Australia with no Wi-Fi. Oh, it's raining so much. You guys can't even see it. Okay, so update. We are not playing Pokemon Go and we are running back. There's thunder outside right now. What? Lightning. Take two. <laughs> we are doing this again. So let's see how this goes. Hi guys, 
guys, so today is the last day of my reading rush and I feel really good because I finished reading six books out of seven and I enjoyed most of them. So I'm not really going to give away my opinions on the books until my July book wrap up. I'm literally so winded because of the altitude. And yesterday I finished reading House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin A. Craig and it is by far I think the best book that I've read in the past four or five years. I'm obsessed. It's super dark and twisted. It's basically a dark horror young adult fantasy based off of the 12 dancing princesses and Honestly, this book was everything I wanted and more. Every time I thought I knew like what was going on, there would be a new surprise and a new magical element that I just kept falling more and more in love with it. And I cannot rave about this book enough. I honestly do not understand anyone who gave it less than a four star rating, but to each their own. I've been kind of in a book hangover slump after this because I just finished this yesterday and I really haven't been in the mood to read it all today even though I know it's the last day. So I tried to read one of the books on my TBR which is Crimson Bound by Rosamund Hodge and this is the same author who wrote Cruel Beauty. I read the first 16 pages and wasn't really invested so I might give it another day just to kind of get over my book hangover. However, I am going to be doing a little bit of reading of Untamed by Glennon Doyle because I just did my book talk today with my boyfriend's mom and my boyfriend's brother's girlfriend. So we are going to be reading the second part of Untamed and then talking about it. So I'm going to try to get that done today, but pretty much I'm done with my reading rush. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I apologize if it's not as smooth or well edited as normal booktubers, however it's my first time filming a reading vlog and it was definitely weird. It took a little bit more time getting used to just kind of positioning my camera and just kind of reading at different angles. So. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys participated in the reading rush, I would love to know which books you read, but yeah, have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.